Hello everyone. So today I've got a really easy and mess free, more importantly, painting activity for you. And it's a really fun one as well. We had a great time playing with this today. So all you're going to need to do this activity is a Ziploc bag and some paint. Now I've chosen to use three different colours of paint just to make it a bit more interesting. I learned that it's a good idea to use big blobs of paint. I did this activity earlier in the week and didn't use as much and it didn't work as well. And I've put them quite close together um, in the hope that they'll mix. Once you've got your paints in your Ziploc bag, all you have to do is to squeeze it as much of the air out as possible and then seal it up at the end. And then you can pop it wherever you want to play. So I have sellotaped it down here. Just so Alex doesn't pull it up, I've just sellotaped it to the table. And he started to play with it, he started to draw circles, he loves talking about circles and everything that goes round. And even some little dots. But it wasn't very long before he got bored of it and asked to get out. Let's play. No. No? Let's get down. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. So I decided in my wisdom I'd stick it to the window and see what happened. Once I put it on the window, he was much, much more interested. Look. Good job. Alex, can you do a line? Line, good line. What colours can you see? Red? What other colours? What's this? Yeah. Yellow and blue. Can you say blue? Yeah. Blue. Then I tried drawing some shapes on it and we had a bit of practice talking about different shape names. <gasps> Hut. What's this? Square. Good boy. Triangle. Triangle. Circle. Yeah, Alex can draw a circle. 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 And of course after that he just asked me to draw lots and lots and lots of different shapes. Stars. What colour can you see now? What colour is this? Yeah, it seems like brown, isn't it? Yeah. Star! But he did eventually go back to it and do some lovely drawing himself too. <gasps> You're doing some circles. Good job. Oh, good lines. Yeah, good job. Circle. No. No? What? Moon. A moon? Yeah. Moon. Okay. Yeah. A moon. What I think is fab about this activity is the fact that it has the potential for so many different things. So with Alex we really used it to talk about shape, but it's really good for obviously practicing mark making and talking about colours and colour mixing. You can start to see in mine that we've got a bit of green going on here as well um, where the colours have mixed but older children would absolutely be able to talk about the colours mixing and also now that it's in this bag I can use it again and again and again so I'm going to stick this inside my cupboard hidden out of the way and then bring it out every now and again for us to play with which I think is great so it's paint that will live forever maybe or maybe not forever but for a good long while. I'll be interested to see how long this lasts for. I think it's a good idea not to leave it out all the time. I think when things are left out all the time, children get a bit bored of them. Put it away somewhere and then perhaps before dinner, if they're getting a bit fractious, you could pop it in front of them very quickly. The sellotape stays on really well, so I could even reuse that. Um, 
yeah, so a really fab activity. So let me know if you try that one at home. I'd love to hear all about it down below in the comments. And if you come up with any other ideas of what you could do with it, you could put all sorts of things in a Ziploc bag. If you don't have paint, you could put in washing up liquid or even oil would work really well. Anything that they can smush around with their hands. But paint's quite fun because you've got all the different bright colours, haven't you? So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.